Hey guys, it's Margaries, and what we'll be doing today is Manga Chapter 369 of Hunter x Hunter. Now, guys, my dear friend Kurapika is in deep shit. Uh, you know what? I'm not certain what's happening, but I know that he was he was just standing there, he was fine, and he passed out. He dropped, and he literally just fell to the floor after his eyes got a little bit dizzy, and you know. So I'm not certain what's happening. I don't know if it's Nen exhaustion, as I was saying in my review last week, because I was reminding you of when um, Bisky was training Gun and Kilwa to to use their rain for like three hours on end. And it's funny though because after Kurpika was using his um his ability for three hours, then he passed out. So I'm not certain if it's Nen exhaustion, but I guess we'll find out in this chapter. So this chapter is entitled Limit, so perhaps that has to do with Crow Picker. I hope it does because I want to find out more and I'm hoping to see Crollo soon as well. And there's a storm brewing and there, there are two ships actually on the first page. I'm not certain why there is this first ship. I don't know this ship. Perhaps it's just reference to what could be happening inside this big black whale. So the next ship is the one we're interested in. That's the one we're criticizing. And it says crossing the rocky waves and obviously the waves are stormy. So perhaps that's what's happening. Although if you look at the first ship, the water on it is pretty calm. The water on the second ship is as well. Not so much calm. <laughs> Not so calm. <laughs> that was very bad English. And it says day two. Alright guys, you see? I don't like the view very much because it's mostly black and grey. But we do see where the ship is down in the bottom of the panel. And it says 18 hours since departure. Will there be light at the end of the voyage? Not in that order, but there are only two words. Um, so what I'm saying is that, you know, I, I, um, I, what I'm saying is that I had initially said, you know what, if we get to the dark content without there being uh, someone getting killed, I'd be surprised. I predicted there would be a bloodbath. Like literally a bloodbath and it's been what 18 hours and a prince has been killed already and they have no way to find out who it might be but I do have a thing on my mind I do have something on my mind that suggests that we can find out who pretty soon perhaps the next four or five chapters so Kurapika is sleeping he's awake when well, he's waking up and Bill is right there Bill says oh thank god I was debating whether or not I should take the risk and call a doctor and Kurapika is like huh <laughs> what time is it shh the others haven't noticed that you passed out yet. They think that you're out on duty, so keep your voice down. Kurapika says, how long have I been passed out? About nine hours. <laughs> oh, that long? <laughs> and the queen, actually, she passed out around the same time you did. What? And the queen is sleeping. Oh, dear, Empress Time is... I think Empress Time is active. Yes, it is. Because Kurapika notices Stealth Dolphin hovering over the queen. And he says, Emperor Time has been activated for the past 12 hours. Oh, dear Lord. Ay, 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 ay. Guys, this is so bad. This is really bad. You remember the limit that was placed on Emperor's Time? It's like a condition. So one hour of Emperor's Time takes 150 days from your lifespan. And then this has been, what, 12 hours? So 12 hours times 150 gives you a really big number. I can do the math if you'd like. So let's see, 150 times 10 is 1,500. That's 1,500 days. That's over five years. And then there's two hours left back. So that's six years that's been taken from Kurpika's time. Give and take, you know, a few days for a complete year and my math being shit. So it says, where? so, um, so Queen Oita says, where is Wobble? He's over there says um shimano kurpika says it appears if you run yourself too hard and break down then the person who's sharing your ability will suffer the same no that's bill saying that because it kurpika did share his ability with bill kurpika thinks mm, so then emperor time has a limit of three hours of continuous use and if i go over that then i black out for three times that nine hours wait it's also possible that the time limit may change depending on potency of the stolen ability 
well you know this isn't this is not good and it's still activated now the next one it might even come sooner than three hours before i lost consciousness i could hear my pulse almost exploding in my ears that was likely a signal of the impending limit come to think of it it did say that there's a different um, noise in his ears whenever he was talking to bill before he passed out and shimano says your anus yes i know i shall continue the surveillance i'll continue with 12th prince but Perhaps that's Scorpica that said But the idea here is that the print, the queen looks pretty, um, she looks dead. <laughs> she looks tired, she looks exhausted, she looks really out of it. And Scorpica says, hey, hey, no. Pushing my bed to like this was much more taxing than I'd anticipated. The deep sleep we fell into was likely due to that. Because of that, I want to change the order of the surveillance. Please start off with the fourth prince's bodyguard and their positioning. Don't you, you don't look very good. Are you sure you're all right? And yeah, I'm telling you, she looks pretty dead inside. Like, she looks broken. I'm not talking just because a prince was murdered. She looks like really broken. Like, she's been overworked and stuff like that. I remember, guys, Scorpica should be stronger than her, than her physically. So this is not looking good for either of them. In a way, she's the one that's asking, that's, that's being asked. You know, she's the one asking Scorpica if he's fine. And she doesn't look too good. So you know this this is not this is not working out so well. Kurpika says to be honest, I'm not sure myself. So I need you to do something for me. If I give the signal, then no matter what you're doing, immediately give the dolphin the order to release the ability. And she's thinking, so then we'll start with Fort Prince Serenic. This is a problem because Serenic has go. <laughs> and she says, Is this another one of your self preserving tactics? <laughs> No, that would carry the biggest strategic advantage for us. All of the First Prince's private guards are lacking in their users. Not even the smallest bug would be able to sneak into that room. On the other hand, there is no time restraint to testing out their security, so I decided it would be best to save infiltrating them for last. The fact that the Second Prince did respond to our call is also likely because there is a name master among her private troops. Who is the Second Prince? The Second Prince is that woman that had the... Uh, that Benjamin wants to kill. I don't remember her name. And he says, and the only reason she'd give up a chance keeping tabs on us would be if she already has someone among her men users that can handle it better. Which means which means she thinks that sending slacker from Queen Dassel's troop here was good enough. Either that or she's the one calling all the shots over there. I think that deduction is most likely correct, says Shima now. Lady Camilla does yes, Camilla. Lady Camilla does not take audience with anyone but the king himself. Come to think of it. She does seem like a bitch. We've already established a good connection with the third prince. Therefore, the eyes prior to fall to the fourth prince from who we happen to have a complete void of information on. Yes, yeah, Serenic is that Mr. X here, guys. And uh, something's happening. Stand off in his band, the queen. Kurpika is on his knees. He says, you're honest. I truly understand you're at ease. So I will say it as many times as necessary. Oh, so he's bow in front of the queen? Why? We are here to ensure the safety of your highness and the princess. Please, <laughs> and the prince, sorry guys. So we are here to ensure the safety of your highness and the prince. Please trust me. And the queen looks very skeptic about everything. Oh, look, it's Prince Wobble. Lady Oita Wobble. Wobble is trying to reach over to Kurpika. Oh, that's so cute. I like the scene where Kurpika was holding Wobble a few chapters back. Like, the very first time he met them, like, you know, it's... It's one of those things that kind of helps Kurpika to, con to connect with his human self, you know. I don't know. I think Kurpika has been through a lot. And having a baby in his arms, that's so innocent. It, I think it's something that can help his character development to help him get back to where he belongs, you know. On the part of humanity. Not good or bad, but the part of humanity. He's doing some very bad things to himself. But let's continue. And the baby says, ha, ba, <laughs> ah. How about you, Prince Wobble? Dada. What the fuck? <laughs> Dada. <laughs> and the queen is like, queen is like, hmm, what the fuck is you saying, son? <laughs> All right, so Kurapika is a daddy. Uh, you know what? I might even name the chapter that because my live reaction that Kurapika is a dad. <laughs> because you know that, that was pretty cute. He's holding for, he's holding Kurapika's hand and he's saying Dada. So apparently the storm has passed. It's morning now. 
we're looking at a schematic for all the prince's rooms and the queen says i must be careful and take care to not get lost but if i don't hurry then the burden on the Kurpika will grow even greater so she's also looking up for Kurpika. the bug is scurrying well that's a cockroach and it's scurrying through the fence it says just past the turn in the doctor head should be the four prince area in these living quarters and she looks stunned oh guys look at the bottom of this panel that's the nenbees for seriendic guys i'm almost certain this is the nenbees for seriendic oh shit oh shit oh gosh guys look at this this nenbees is on point like it's not physically there you can see that from the drawing but it is in the den in the ducks as well so this net bug is not getting anywhere close. And I'm telling you, because Serenity can use Gyo, I'm pretty sure Serenity can see this as well. So this net beast is on point. So apparently net beast have some abilities as well. Oh, shit. And it's about to eat the bug. But it, fe it feels like it's about to eat the queen. And she is screaming. Ah! Guards are rushing. The queen, oh, you know what's happened? It's all right. She was just having a nightmare. Please return to your stations and whoa shit. Your eyelids, what happened? A woman's face suddenly appeared in the ventilation shaft. I think she must have eaten the bug. Oh damn. Oh damn. Little eye has been forcefully aborted. Hmm. The dolphin by my side says that it was forcefully aborted. Very well. Please give the dolphin the release order. Yes. Altogether it ended up nearly nine hours. That's nine hours wasted without any results. And Kurpika is thinking there are security measures set up in the ventilation ducts to ensure that no one can pass through them. It must be the Ned Bees protecting the prince. That's a very good deduction. And something is happening because I see a blade at the bottom. I haven't read it. So he's shocked about something. And he says, I guess even with a restriction like this, that doesn't mean the physical burden on my body is going to be any less. If I don't use the ability with the utmost caution, even the smallest mistake could cost me my life. A poisonous double-edged sword. Oh, so that's what the sword is. Because, you know, one edge is really smooth and the next edge is really jagged. And I wouldn't want to get cut by either edge. <laughs> a cut is a cut, guys. <laughs> and the queen says, um, I'm sorry for getting so worked up among all the chaos and confusion that happened. Not at all. I'm the one that should be sorry. I'm grateful that you accommodated such a sudden and overbearing quest from me. Hmm. Um, do you think you can teach me then as well? Hey, you did say that knowing it drastically raises your chance of survival, right? Indeed, just being able to see what you would usually would not be able to could completely change your odds. You know, guys, sometimes I don't like the translation that I'm reading here. I don't really like it sometimes, but you know what? Let's get, let's get going. It says, I want